Comparison of computational analysis of a hypersonic aero disc model with slots and greater aero disc size. Abstract The most basic issues looked by the architects in the field of hypersonics is the streamlined warming on the outside of hypersonic vehicles. At high Mach number, hypersonic vehicles, for example, re entry cases, rockets, rockets experience gigantic measure of warming at the nose partition, which may prompt the harm of the inner segments. Some of the time the warming is enormous to the point that the entire design of the vehicle may get totally crumbled. Many methods such as aerospike, aerodisc, reverse flow injection, ablation tiles, heat-resistant coating, titanium alloyed materials, fiber-reinforced carbon composites, FRCCs, etc. are invented by renowned scientists across the globe which are used even today. In this research, basic aerodisc models are first designed in Kasha with two different aerodisc models. Then CFD analysis is carried out using ANSYS CFX to study, examine, and compare the heat reduction in the models. The research compares between the model slotted arm and a design with different disc diameter and shows which has more efficiency in reducing the stagnation heat flux and load acting on the nose cone compared to the other aero disc model thereby, allowing it to achieve higher Mach numbers. Keywords, hypersonics, aerodynamic heating, aero disc, aero spike, re-entry. Eye introduction. Hypersonic aerodynamics has been one of the most challenging fields for engineers in aerospace domain. With advancements in various technologies, engineers are now able to develop hypersonic vehicles such as rockets, missiles, re-entry space capsules, etc. which can achieve Mach number more than 5. But the development of a hypersonic vehicle is not easy due to the problem that in a hypersonic flow, the air becomes ionized i.e., the properties of the fluid changes rapidly. Because of the high speed of the hypersonic vehicle, Strong shock waves are formed in front of the nose of the vehicle which lead to the increase in the stagnation heat flux thus leads to the rapid heating of the nose of the hypersonic vehicle. This aerodynamic heating has been a challenging issue since many decades. Scientists from all over the world have proposed, designed, experimented many thermal protection techniques to reduce this aerodynamic heating. Some of which are blunt-nosed body concept, use of ablative materials, aero spikes, aero discs, etc. From the literature survey, it has been found that blunt nose shape is preferred for hypersonic vehicles for the fact that blunt nosed hypersonic vehicles have much lesser aerodynamic heating compared to hypersonic vehicles with conical shaped nose and also it can accommodate more components. This is on the grounds that an blunt nose disconnects the shockwave from the body of the rocket while, on account of the conical nosed rocket, the shockwave is connected to the body prompting expansion in the warming of the outside of the body. The principal case with respect to streamlined warming was capable route back in the German V-2 rocket program where the rockets going at hypersonic speeds launched in the mid-air because of streamlined warming of the rockets. Fundamentals of hypersonics Any model put in hypersonic stream i.e., stream having Mach number more than 5, encounters profoundly critical changes in its streamlined qualities like the development of normal and oblique shock waves at the front part of the object which is confronting the free stream, expansion in the temperature behind the shock waves and on the front surface of the model, and furthermore there are changes in other stream medium parameters like density, static and total pressure factors and static and absolute temperatures. The hypersonic flight system incorporates climatic passage and re-emergence, ground testing, what's more, trip for both fueled and unpowered vehicles. In the current LEC tour series, the primary interest is on maintained and controlled hypersonic flight, regardless of whether for military or common vehicle application. Despite the fact that it isn't right now insured for flight, there is one operational hypersonic vehicle, the space transport of NASA. In any event 20 years prior the improvement of the van a huge movement in hyper. Sonic flight research was led by the US Air Force in their X-15 program. This vehicle has arrived at a flight Mach number of 6.7 on its last flight, which likewise used to test a hypersonic ramjet motor. Direct stun impingement on the arch holding a fake motor caused serious warming also, underlying harm, and this was one of numerous exercises gained from the program. Attributable to the plan of the X-15, it was not able to do long-length fueled flight, yet it gave a lot of data on specialized issues that actually stay a genuine. For a model with a huge front-facing region, typical shocks are normally framed i.e., shock waves opposite to the vehicle of stream heading, point of 90 degrees. For a sharp front-facing model or tapered molded model, oblique shock waves are formed i.e., shock waves at a point other than 90 degrees. For a blunt nose model, a shock wave with the blend of both normal and oblique shock waves called bow stun is formed. Shock waves formed on a body can be visualized using techniques like school Aaron technique, PIV, shadow graph, shock tunnels, hypersonic wind tunnels, 
laser Doppler technique, etc. It is found that shock waves formed around a blunt body are detached at the leading edge of the blunt body due to its blunt shape. This leads to reduction in the heating at the leading edge of the blunt body. That is why blunt nose is preferred for any hypersonic vehicle body. Effect of aero disc on the model, the aero disc attached with an arm to the blunt body model has a great effect on the parameters of the flow medium. The aero disc converts an oblique shock wave into a bow shock due to the blunt shape of the disc. Due to which a recirculation zone is created behind the disc up to the root of the arm. Recirculation is a particular condition where the stream isolates from the body of the obstruction. This makes a low-pressure region quickly downstream which draws liquid back into this area from the fundamental stream with the net consequence of making a flowing vortex or pair of vortices. This condition makes a stamped expansion in drag contrasted with circumstances where the stream stays connected to the surface. On the off chance that stream partition is likely it is frequently better to purposely induce turbulence early rather than have an abrupt separation of laminar flow. This recirculation region creates a low-pressure region reducing the temperature in that region and thus, induces cooling effect on the surface of the body. This low pressure region changes with the change in the arm length and aero disc diameter. In this analysis, the disc diameter is changed and the arm length is kept constant and added slots to the arm in one model. Research states that aero disc attachment if used in an optimum manner can become a revolutionary change in the field of aerospace. 2 Literature Survey Rahul S. Pawar ETL, 2019 Performed numerical simulation over a blunt body to analyze the effect of drag, lift, and pitching moment coefficient onto the blunt body with and without implementation of an aero spike at Mach number 6. They designed a blunt body model with and without aero spike attachment and carried out the performance analysis of conical aero spike for various L D, spike length to diameter, ratios using CFD Expert Light Trademark Solver, developed by M S Zeus Numerics Private Limited. Through this examination they discovered that the primary benefit of utilizing air spike is that it substitutes greater force bow stun with lesser power conical shock subsequently makes a recirculating low pressing factor area beginning from the tip of the nose to the arm end of the aero spike. This recirculating zone decreases both drag and the stagnation heat motion before the unpolished nose of the body. Their primary objective was I dot to visualize the shock wave structure around the blunt nose with aero spike. 2. Dot to study the influence of different L-D ratios as well as angles of attack for drag reduction. Figure 1, Blunt Body Geometry with Attached Arrow Spike Due to the presence of complexities in the geometry, they chose unstructured mesh. But they also used prism layered mesh near the boundary wall to get the behavior of the fluid near the wall. Since two kinds of mesh were used the mesh type generated was hybrid mesh. The boundary conditions for the flow field are Inlet Face, Velocity Inlet Cylindrical face and outlet face pressure far field. For body along with spike no slip wall boundary condition. Surface flow contours for pressure and Mach number over blunt body and conical arrow spike were obtained for the L-D ratios of 1, 1 1.5, and 2, at zero angle of incidence and Mach 6, as illustrated in figures below. It was observed that the implementation of arrow spike has a smaller coefficient of drag as compared to the blunt body. This was caused due to the existence of recirculation region in between the origin of aero spike up to the point of reattachment at the shoulder of the nose body. As the angle of attack increases, the flow over the aero spike becomes uneven and hence changes the intensity of recirculation region. Wei Huang ETL, 2019 Wrote a research paper which stated that the mechanical spike is an effective way to reduce the aerodynamic drag due to the reduced dynamic pressure in the separated flow region and when added a disc on the spike nose can yield better performance for thermal protection compared with the pointed spike. Further, the flow field around a spiked blunt body appears to be very complex and contains a number of interesting flow phenomena and characteristics, which are yet to be investigated. Thus, in this paper, the drag and heat flux reduction mechanism induced by the aero disc has been investigated numerically. The spike produces a region of recirculation region which is formed around the root of the spike up to the reattachment point of the flow at the shoulder of the blunt body and shields the blunt-nosed body from the incoming hypersonic flow. The size of the recirculating region increases with the increase of the diameter of the aero disc, especially with the increase of the length of the spike. The length of the spike and diameter of the aero disc both have a great influence on the shape of the recirculation region, and they have to be suitably chosen to obtain a large conical recirculation area in front of the blunt body to obtain maximum heat reduction. Gertrude Berry ETL, 2010 Numerically investigated the effectiveness of aero disc and aero spike attachments as retractable drag and heat reduction devices for large angle blunt cones at different angles of attack in hypersonic flow. 
They obtained full three-dimensional solutions of the compressible Na Weyer Stokes equations with KW turbulence model at a free stream flow Mach number of 5.7 and 3, 7, 10, and 12 degrees of angles of attack. The heat transfer studies revealed that that hemispherical aero disk exhibits the best heat reduction characteristics. They have recommended the use of aero dome with hemispherical aero disk with an L-slash-D ratio of 1 for optimum drag and heat reduction. Wang E.T. L. 2010 the flow fields around a blunt cone with and without aero disc flying at hypersonic Mach numbers are computed numerically by specifying the free stream velocity, static pressure, and static temperatures at the inlet of the computational domain with a three-dimensional, steady, Reynolds averaged Navier-Stokes equation, and an aero disc is attached to the tip of the rod to reduce the drag and heat flux further. The influences of the length of rod and the diameter of aero disc on the drag and heat flux reduction mechanism are analyzed comprehensively, and eight configurations are considered in the current study. Numerically investigated the influences of various nose configurations such as conical, hemispherical and flat-headed spike and the L-slash-D ratio of the spike on the aerodynamic drag and heating of blunt bodies. They observed that temperature and pressure contour plots for both hemispherical and flat-head spike to be similar and their aerodynamics drag reduction capabilities were lesser in those of conical spikes. Ahmed and Chin ETL, 2010 Explored four proxy models for the plan enhancement of spiked blunt bodies in hypersonic trip with two plan targets of drag and aerodynamic heating assessed independently. They found that optimizing the spike configuration could deliver 92% and 13% decrease in drag and aerodynamic heating individually, contrasted with the unspiked obtuse body. Both advanced plans were found to support exceptionally huge spike lengths request of multi-PLE times the diameter of blunt nose. In this manner it very well may be reasoned that the two plan boundaries are not unequivocally rivaling one another. Objective of the research In this research, basic aero disc models are first designed in Kasha with one being slotted and other non-slotted and different aero disc with respect to slotted one. Then CFD analysis is carried out using ANSI CFX to study, examine any and compare the heat reduction in the models. The research shows that the model with larger disc radius has higher efficiency in reducing the stagnation heat flux on the nose cone compared to the other aero disc models thereby, allowing it to achieve higher Mach numbers. 3 Methodology Kasha Model Design Kasha, computer-aided three-dimensional interactive application, is a multi-platform software suite for computer-aided design, CAD, computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, computer-aided engineering, CAE, POM, and 3D developed by the French-based company Dassault Systems. Kasha has numerous in-constructed instruments and highlights that permit us to configuration any sort of mechanical, aviation design-based models effectively SAVing time, energy, and cash. In aviation design, Kasha is utilized to plan different segments identified with airplane and shuttle. In our project, we used Kasha V5 software to design a total of three models. One basic blunt body model with diameter equals 100 mm, Blunt nose radius equals 50 mm, total length equals 175 mm. One blunt body models, same as basic blunt body model, but with an aero disc of radius equals 20 mm, attached to arm of lengths 150 mm respectively. One basic blunt body model with the dimensions as mentioned above with aero disc of 10 mm diameter attached of a definite arm length of 150 mm, but slots have been made at specific locations i.e through the center of the arm axially with diameter of 2 mm along with holes on the outer surface of the model with diameter equals 2 mm. These Kasha files with catbird extension is then converted to IGS extension files because ANSI software can read slash write slash edit files only with these extensions. I, basic blunt body model. 2, models with bigger aero disc. ANSI workbench. ANSI, acronym for Analysis Systems Incorporated, is a global public company based in Cannonsburg. Pennsylvania which develops and markets multi-physics engineering simulation software for product design, testing, and operation. John Swanson founded ONSYS in 1970. ONSYS acquired other engineering design companies, acquiring additional technology for, electronics design, fluid dynamics and other physics analysis. ANSYS CFX ONSYS, CFX is a high-performance computational fluid dynamics, CFD software tool which delivers accurate and reliable solutions robustly and quickly across a wide range of CFD and multi-physics applications. CFX is recognized for its outstanding speed, robustness, and accuracy when simulating turbo machinery, such as fans, compressors, pumps and gas and hydraulic turbines. ONSI CFX software is a high-performance, 
general purpose fluid dynamics program that engineers have applied to solve wide ranging fluid flow problems since many years. At the heart of CFX is its advanced solver technology, the key to achieving reliable and accurate solutions quickly and robustly. The modern, highly parallelized solver is the foundation for an abundant choice of physical models that capture virtually any type of phenomena related to fluid flow. The solver and models are wrapped in a modern, intuitive, and flexible GUI and user environment, with extensive capabilities for customization and automation using session files, scripting, and a powerful expression language. The ANSYS software uses the momentum, continuity, and energy equations which are related to pressure, velocity, temperature, volume and density. In some cases, ANSYS is also based upon Mach number, Reynolds number etc. The equations that are used in the naive strokes relation were based on integral or differential form and are derived from Euler's equations. The fluid flow, CFX in the ANSI, workbench consists of the following features. Geometry. Mesh. Setup. Solution. Results. CFD analysis procedure, same for all the FIV models. One first, Kasha model, .stp file is imported into the geometry section in the ANSYS CFX workspace. Then a bounding box with dimensions, 250mm asterisk 700mm asterisk 250mm, which represents the fluid domain is created using the enclosure option in toolbar. Now using the boolean option, the model is subtracted from the bounding box. The inlet, outlet, wall for the models is defined using the name selection option. Two second, in the mesh section, Unstructured mesh type is used to create mesh for all the models. The table below describes the statistics of the mesh. Three-third, all the boundary conditions are then given in the setup section. The boundary conditions used in the analysis are, A, domain. Fluid. Air equals air ideal gas O reference pressure equals zero PA. O heat transfer model equals total energy. O turbulence model equals shear truss transport. B, default domain default. No slip wall. C. Inlet, flow regime. Supersonic O mass and momentum. Normal speed, 2058M s. O heat transfer. Static temperature, 288.15K. O wall, boundary type. Wall. O mass and momentum. Free slip wall. O outlet, flow regime. Supersonic. O solver input. MIN number of iterations equals 1. Maximum number of iterations equals 500. 4 fourth are the solutions. Double precision option is used here before clicking on the start run option. The iterations keep running until the solution gets completed or converged. 5 fifth and the last are the results. A plane, which cuts the model symmetrically, is created in order to visualize the flow around the model and to obtain vector and streamline plots and all contours related to flow parameters such as density, Mach number, pressure, temperature, total pressure, total temperature, and velocity. Six since our research requires temperature values around the boundary of the models, the temperature versus distance along the model's length and the total temperature versus distance along the model's length is found using polyline and chart option. The polyline option when applied creates a line around the model. Location Polyline. X axis. Y distance. Y axis. Temperature or total temperature. Series. Series 1. Apply. The following are the settings that are applied to obtain the charts or plots. Thus, the temperature plots or charts are created. Now these charts can be saved as .csv files using the export option. The coordinates files can also be saved in a table format using the table option, then after saving the contours, a report consisting of all the information regarding the CFX analysis is generated using Report Preview option and can be saved using Publish option. 4. Results and Discussion O Flow Visualization of all the models The streamlined contours obtained from the CFD analysis allow us to visualize the flow around all the three models. After the geometry, mesh, setup, solution the results are obtained on the plane created and selected by altering the parameters. It is observed from the contours that the blue colored zones indicate the recirculation regions formed at the leading edge of the body. These recirculation zones are low pressure regions where temperatures are low compared to the other regions enclosing the whole model. Thus, the nose portion of the body is protected from the extreme heating due to the strong shock waves formed due to the high speed passage of air, Mach 6, over the surface of the body. Do its blunt nose, 
a detached bow shock formed at the nose of the blunt body. The recirculation region formed is not very significantly noticeable. This can be noticed from the contour below. For the aerodisc model with L-slash-D ratio of 1, a very small recirculation region is formed at the nose portion which is larger compared to the blunt body model. For the slotted aerodisc model, due to slot-like passages, there the area of recirculation region becomes much larger compared to all the above models. These slots send additional amount of low-pressured air into the recirculation zone increasing the low-pressure region in front of the nose part of the model. For the model with bigger aerodisc i.e. about 20 mm radius the recirculation, due to increase in the disc size there the area of recirculation region becomes smaller compared to slotted model but the flow has split into two reducing the overall pressure compared to all the above models. By visualizing the flow around all the above models, it can be concluded that aerodisc model which has larger disc diameter has larger recirculation region compared to the other models in the nose portion starting from behind the aerodisc to the root of the arm. The maximum velocity acting has reduced from 1.980 E plus 03 to 1.29 E plus 03. O density of the flow over all the models. From the density contours, we can observe that the region where the shock waves are formed has high density compared to all the regions. This is due to accumulation of the air molecules which undergo compression to form the shock waves. Due to the blunt shape of the nose of the blunt body model, a strong bow shock have formed in front of the nose resulting in the aerodynamic heating at the nose part. Due to presence of slot-like passages in the below model, the air through the passages increase the distance between the high-density zone away from the leading edge of the model. Even after increasing the disc diameter the main blunt head has some effect of density around it. In this case the design with slotted arm deals with density better the altered blunt head design. O pressure of the flow over all the models. Generally, shock waves are formed when the model is placed in a flow with speed equal to or greater than the speed of the sound. The speed of the free stream flow used in the analysis is 1980m slash SECIE, Mach 6. Pressure contours over any model describes about the location of formation of the shock waves on that model. Due to the blunt shape of the nose in the blunt body model, a detached strong bow shock is formed at the nose part of the model. But the detached distance is much less ER compared to the models with aerodisc. So, the area of recirculation region formed at the nose part of the blunt body model is much lesser compared to all the other models. Even then, there is a phenomenon of reattachment of the shock waves to the model's front surface as observed in the pressure contours. This is due to the presence of the aerodisc at the end of the arm attached to the model. Due to the presence of the slots like passages for this last model, the recirculation zone is increased by its area due to which the recompression wave's intensity is reduced and is helpful in reducing the temperature at the nose part of the model. Thus, the aerodynamic heat reduction is achieved. Figure 16 Pressure contour for slotted passage aerodisc model with L-slash-D ratio of 1.5. After comparing the results of different designs the one with disc radius of 20 mm has less effect on it even at high pressure conditions. O total pressure of the flow over all the models. Total pressure is the pressure experienced by the body when the flowing air is brought to a stop by the surface obstruction to the free stream flow. It can also be termed as the sum of both the static and dynamic pressure. This total pressure depends on the area of the surface of the body obstructing the free stream flow. The blunt body has a hemispherical surface at the nose part of the body. So, the total pressure on the surface is very high. The total pressure contour placed below describes the total pressure on the blunt body model. Due to presence of the slotted arm-like passages in this last model, the total pressure is further reduced due to the air flowing from inside the slots into the recirculation region. The area of the low-pressure region gets enlarged. The total pressure readings indicate that due to increase in disc diameter the pressure acting on the head surface has increased when compared to slotted arm design. O static temperature of the flow over all the models. From the temperature contour, we can obtain the stat IC temperature values of the flow over the surface of the body. This value can be helpful in determination of the suitable material that is needed to use in manufacturing the model. The temperature values on the surface of the whole body can be found by using probe and chart options available in the results section of the CFX workbench. Blunt body model has a strong shock wave formed at its nose part, so the temperature at the nose part is higher since the recirculation region is much lesser compared to the models with aerodisc attachment. Whereas, in the case of the models with aerodisc attachment, Due to the presence of the low-pressure recirculation regions, the static temperature values are much less compared to the blunt body model. O total temperature of the flow over all the models. Since the shape of the nose part of the model is in blunt shape, more surface area is exposed to the free stream flow. This leads to increase in the total temperature at the nose part. 
If the total temperature at the nose portion increases to the value that cannot be sustained by the material used to make the model, there is a high risk of failure of the material and the model heated up and may even get vaporized. To keep away from the present circumstance, either exceptionally heat-safe material should be utilized or the model should have best streamlined plan. In any case, there no such material accessible now to oblige and oppose a high worth of absolute temperature. Thus, there could be no other choice than to pick streamlined planning to abstain from warming. From the above total temperature contours and plots, it clearly indicates that the total temperature at the nose portion of the model changes with respect to change in the length of the arm. And this total temperature value is much lesser in the model with a greater radius of disk compared to all the other models. The total temperature value on the leading edge of the model can be obtained using the probe option from the results section in ANSYS CFX. These are the run of ANSYS CFX solver that has finished and produced a solution of momentum and mass, heat transfer, turbulence and wall and boundary scale. V. Conclusion and Future Research O. Conclusion The CFD analysis for three different models as described in the earlier context of the project report, is performed, studied and results are explained successfully under shear stress turbulent, SST, model conditions using an SYS CFX software. The operating Mach number is 6. In this study, we have found that in majority of the analysis done the design with bigger disk size about 20 mm radius has higher efficiency in aerodynamic heat reduction, pressure reduction compared to all the other models. The processes done to analyze the models designed are Flow visualization of all the models Density of the flow over all the models Pressure of the flow over all the models Total pressure of the flow over all the models Static temperature of the flow over all the models Total temperature of the flow over all the models From all these analysis the results obtained by the design with disk diameter of 40 mm are compared to the results obtained by the design of the slotted design. Having these results and base results of the blunt design of the body helps us understand and determine the app design for the required results to be obtained. From our research study and CFD analysis, the aerodisc attachment model with larger disk size is the best and highly efficient model for aerodynamic heat reduction and can be used in designing hypersonic vehicles such as, re-entry capsules, hypersonic missiles, rockets, etc. Whereas the slotted model also has its perks and is helpful in some of the aspects like recirculation and other analysis. This concludes our research on the aerodynamic heat reduction on an aerodisc with disc radius of 20 mm hypersonic model using computational analysis. 6. Future Research The research can be continued further on this slotted passage aerodisc model and model with logger disc size by varying different aspects such as the slot's diameter, disc diameter, arm length, and finding the loads acting on the arm. Loads acting on the arm helps understand the effect of slot and disc size by allowing us to know the buckling CAPacity of the arm.